Welcome back. Today's video will be focusing in on the Pro Bowl selections. They have just been released and I have some interesting facts and opinions on Lamar Jackson being selected to the Pro Bowl in this 2020-2021 season. I would like to start this video off by announcing to you all that at the beginning of Lamar's career when he came into the NFL from Louisville, I was definitely a hater. I didn't think that he had what he, it would take to be a successful quarterback, let alone be a future MVP in this league. So I want everyone to know uh, before we get into this video that I was already wrong about Lamar Jackson's career. So let's talk about what Lamar has done this season. This is the fourth year of Lamar Jackson's career. And looking at the past three seasons, you can see that his numbers have gone down each year over the last three years. Now, this doesn't mean that Lamar is a bad quarterback in any way. Lamar is still one of the greatest quarterbacks that I've seen in our generation. The way he has the ability to move out of the pocket, run, get first downs, uh, hit deep balls, uh, make electric plays on the field is something that we we'll, may never see again. When you compare Lamar's numbers from this season to his past two seasons, it's quite a big difference. In 2019, Lamar Jackson won AL MVP. Now, I don't expect a quarterback to put up MVP numbers every season, but he was just selected to the Pro Bowl. So let's look at his numbers compared to that season. In 2019, Lamar had 36 touchdowns, six interceptions, and an average QBR of 83. He was an absolute beast that season. Now looking at his 2021 numbers, even though he's missed a few games due to COVID and some other restrictions, he has only thrown 16 touchdowns this season. Also, he's thrown 13 picks, which is the most in his career with two games left to go in the season, and he's at an average QBR of 50. Not only are Lamar's numbers down, but if you look at the team's performance in terms of wins and losses, in 2019 they were 14-2, in 2020 11-5. This season, 8-7, with two games left to go, fighting for that last playoff position spot. And let's remember in 2021, they've added another game and they're still going to have a worse record than they had over the past two seasons. The wins and losses don't fall completely on Lamar Jackson. It's been a very tough season for every team. There's been so many COVID restrictions, protocols, holding people out for multiple weeks. Plus, the Ravens have dealt with a lot of injuries to their defense and running backs with people being out for the whole season. So I can't blame it all on Lamar Jackson. And even though his numbers have been down, it doesn't mean that he still shouldn't be selected to the Pro Bowl. In order to be selected to the Pro Bowl in the American League, you need to be one of the top three quarterbacks. The selections were just released this past week, and in the American League, Justin Herbert was selected, Patrick Mahomes was selected, and in the final spot, Lamar Jackson. Looking at the numbers that Justin Herbert and Patrick Mahomes have put up this year, have both been valid in terms of the Pro Bowl selection for the 2021 season. So let's compare some numbers and look at some other teams in the American League that could possibly have a quarterback to put up numbers better or similar to Lamar Jackson this season. So looking at the American League Conference, let's look at each division and see which quarterbacks could have better stats than Lamar this season. First, the AFC East. We have the Buffalo Bills and the New England Patriots. I don't believe Miami Dolphins or New York Jets, Zach Wilson and Tua, those guys wouldn't be considered pro bowlers this year. As for Mac Jones, he's up for Offensive Rookie of the Year. So let's compare his numbers, even though I think he's more of a system quarterback and not a pro bowler, we'll compare his numbers. And Josh Allen currently has the Bills at first place in the AFC East, and we'll look at his numbers compared to Lamar as well. The next division, AFC North. Uh, this consists of the Bengals, Ravens, Steelers, and Browns. Steelers and Browns, the bottom of this division, um, most likely missing the playoffs this year. Big Ben and Baker Mayfield, both having sh bad years, struggling, so they would not be considered pro bowlers. Joe Burrow, on the other hand, amazing comeback from his ACL tear, has an amazing season. Let's look at his numbers compared to Lamar as well. 
The other two quarterbacks I wanted to look at from the AFC um, come from the Indianapolis Colts and Carson Wentz, who surprisingly had a very solid season looking at it from a numbers perspective, as well as Derek Carr, who's got the Raiders at 8-7 and seven and fighting for that final playoff spot as well. In order to compare all of these quarterbacks, I needed to select seven statistical categories in which I felt was the best way to compare their seasons. These seven categories are passing yards, passing touchdowns, interceptions, rushing yards, QBR, win losses, and completion percentage. Now let's look at Lamar Jackson's numbers again and compare them to these five quarterbacks. Let's start off with his passing yards. This year he's thrown for 2,882 yards, 16 passing touchdowns, 13 interceptions, he has a QBR of 50, and his completion percentage is 64.4%. We all know how talented of a runner Lamar Jackson is, and he's ran for 767 yards, two games left to go in the season. But when you're comparing those numbers to his past two seasons, where he ran for 1,206 in another year of over 1,000 yards, and in those two seasons, he had seven rushing touchdowns in each of them. This year, he only has two rushing touchdowns. And like I said earlier, the Ravens are eight and seven and are fighting for the final playoff spot. Now let's look at Josh Allen in his fourth season with the Buffalo Bills. He currently has 4,048 passing yards, 34 passing touchdowns, 12 interceptions, a QBR of 60.5 and completion percentage of 65%. Josh Allen also has 619 rushing yards and four rushing touchdowns this season. They are also 9-6 and six and in currently first place in their division. Staying in the same division, let's now talk about Mac Jones in his first year with the Patriots. Mac Jones has thrown for 3,313 yards. 18 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, a QBR of 51.5, and a completion percentage of 67.2%. Mac Jones has rushed for 113 yards this season with no touchdowns and currently has the Patriots at 9 and 6, tied to the Buffalo Bills but in second place in their division. The next quarterback on the list is Joe Burrow in his second season with the Cincinnati Bengals. Coming off a terrible ACL tear in his first season, he's been able to put up 4,165 passing yards, 30 touchdowns, 14 interceptions, a QBR of 52.7, and a completion percentage of 69.9%. He's also ran for 108 yards and two rushing touchdowns and currently has the Bengals at 9-6 and six and in one game ahead of the Baltimore Ravens for first place in the AFC North. The next quarterback on the list is Carson Wentz in his first season with the Indianapolis Colts. He's been able to throw for 3,230 yards, 25 touchdowns, only 6 interceptions, and has a QBR of 59.8 with completion percentage of 62.8%. Carson Wentz currently has 188 rushing yards and one rushing touchdown. The Colts are also 9-6 and, and currently holding a wildcard position spot. The last quarterback on our list is Derek Carr. Derek Carr has had to deal with quite a bit off-field issues with the team this season and has still has able to throw for 4,363 yards, 20 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, a QBR of 54.2% and completion percentage of 68.7. Carr has also ran for 109 rushing yards and no touchdowns and has the Raiders at 8-7 fighting for their final playoff spot with the Ravens. Now after comparing all of these quarterbacks to Lamar Jackson's season, I don't see how Lamar Jackson should have been selected for the Pro Bowl over Josh Allen and Joe Burrow. 
both of these two players have had more passing yards, more passing touchdowns, similar interceptions, better QBR, better completion percentage, a better win-loss record, and probably had a better overall season. So how did Lamar Jackson get selected to the Pro Bowl over these two players? In order to get selected for the Pro Bowl, players for the game are determined by the consensus votes of fans, players, and coaches. Each group's vote counts as one-third towards the 88 All-Star players who will be selected towards the Pro Bowl. Clearly, I think that Lamar Jackson has a lot more fans off the field than Josh Allen and Joe Burrow do, and this could be a reason as to why he was selected to the Pro Bowl. But looking at his statistical numbers, the win-loss records, I think it's a little unfair for Joe Burrow and Josh Allen not to get a Pro Bowl selection this year. Please let me know what you all think in the comments, and thank you for watching.